Hey guys, welcome back to my series of custom challenge runs in the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb edition. Today's challenge is called Chest Boy, and I am starting out with infinite keys as well as Guppy's Tail and of course Isaac's default D6 item. And uh, the way this is going to work is basically I'm going to do a completely normal run, except I'm not allowed to go to item rooms. And the idea behind this is that Guppy's Tail will give us a lot of chests, including locked chests, and I will be able to open every single one of them and hopefully get some items from them instead of from item rooms. I think this is going to be pretty much unequivo unequivocally more difficult than uh, a standard Isaac run, which is a good change of pace from the sort of like absurd challenge runs that I tend to do sometimes that might make the game a little bit easier. Uh, the reason I gave myself infinite keys instead of um, like just a skeleton key was that uh, I didn't want a bombs or key pill to be able to totally mess up the run. Let's pop in here and see what there is. Just the game kid, so it wouldn't have been a big deal to miss out on that. Of course I have no money which is unfortunate because I would love to buy the map in the shop but you know can't always get what you want. And finishing up the basement part one with few advantages to say the least. We've got Kane's Eye that we got out of that chest, uh, which is not one of my favorite trinkets at all. It's It gives you the compass effect on one-fourth of floors. Which I, like, I have no idea how they decided that was balanced against something like Cancer that doubles your tears rate. I feel like you know, they could have sprung for having a trinket just give you the compass every single floor. But whatever. That's fine. Not going to complain too much about it. You know, the weird thing is, I don't know if this is still the case, actually. I haven't seen Liberty Cap too much, but, uh, yeah, I'll take an HP up rather than rolling it. Um, but Liberty Cap used to give you the compass effect every once in a while, like, within a room, which was weird because then you were, uh, like, if you paid attention, then you could mark where your target was on your map. I mean, not, like, physically mark your monitor or something. That would be pretty stupid, but you would, you know, you would know. And that was much better than Kane's Eye effect, even discarding every other effect of that item, or that trinket, just because, um, what am I trying to say here? Just because, uh, you know, you're likely to get the compass effect at least once per floor that way. Whereas with Kane's Eye, you get one shot, and of course it actually worked this time. We've got a full view of the basement part two, which is not overly valuable since... This is the type of floor I would tend to go to, you know, every single room on. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think. Maybe I should uh, re-roll Mom's Purse just in case, like, assume that I'm going to get the money somehow to buy an item. And I'm not sure if I do that, that Mom's Purse is going to be my item of choice. Uh, uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's a decent item, but, you know, since I'm going to have so much time to re-roll, I think I am going to start rolling it now. I got the battery. That's much better. I would love to buy the battery if I can get another, what, six cents now? Probably maybe do that. It depends. If I can get to the secret room, well, that'll do it too. Now we just need one more penny. That's why you always shoot your poop, kids. Not actually. I don't always shoot the poop because most of the time it's a waste of time, but in that specific circumstance it ended up working out. I could also buy a bomb to, uh get to that tinted rock which I would like to do but first things first I would definitely want to buy the battery if at all possible that was a little bit of a close shave there oh a I thought I thought I could sneak above that one oh well Uh, so I don't need to use my roll again. I don't have any bombs, which sucks. Because there's a place that looks a lot like the secret room there. But there's another one right north of this room, so... Maybe good that I didn't have a bomb to waste on that, assuming it's not the secret room. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe if I get any bombs, we'll see. Got another key. That's really useful when I'm using the infinite keys cheat. Of course, the one time I use the infinite key cheat, actually getting a fair number of key drops. I got one uh, before starting the recording as well out of a tinted rock, but I just picked it up because it wasn't really relevant. There's a bomb. Alright, so I think 
Hmm, tough choice actually. Well, there's so many locations for the secret room. I was gonna say it might be better to look for the secret room with this bomb than blow up the tinted rock just so that I could have the chance of getting a penny out of the secret room and then being able to buy the battery. But since there are so many places the secret room could be, it seems like a waste of a bomb to just gamble on one of them. So instead, I will go and blow up the tinted rock. Maybe there will be a chest inside that tinted rock that contains money. If not, that would be pretty disappointing to be one cent away. I might as well check for a secret room here, just in case. You never know if something crazy is going to happen. Well, there's the chest. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> so we got Tammy's head, we put it back down. Um, I guess I'll fight the boss first and then decide what I'm going to use my reroll on. Because there are a minimum of one thing I would like to reroll on this floor. Of course, that being Tammy's head. I'm going to take Tammy's head to the boss room to use it once on the boss. That's a bad idea because just in case there's a devil room, then I couldn't like walk away to go back and get the D6. And <laughs> I would feel really stupid if I missed out on being able to reroll a devil room because I wanted to use Tammy's head once on a basement level boss. I think I can probably get along just fine on my own without Tammy's head to help me out. So apologies for the wasted time walking back and forth there. Just had to correct my stupid strategy. Alright, so here is Monstro. Shouldn't be a very difficult fight, all things considered, though this is the giant tanky Monstro. So it will take a while. But if he hits me, I will be very disappointed with myself. Unless it's one of those crazy shots that Monstro pulls off sometimes, it's almost impossible to dodge. Every once in a while, it's a really good spread with one of these, like, I don't know what to call this attack, it's vomit spray. And uh, what, you can't get to a position where one of them's not going to hit you, or at least not with the information given to you, because, as I've mentioned many times before, the way these shots arc makes it very difficult to predict what they might do. But anyway... That's quite a tangent, but it works because it got us most of the way through Monstro's health. God damn, this guy is taking a long time to go. Oh, that was really close to being exactly what I was talking about there. One of those shots, if they had been arced slightly differently, I would have had no way of knowing. It could have hit me easily. Uh, so we got a Tears up there, which I'm not going to reroll. We got Krampus here. You can reroll the Lump of Coal, but you know what? I kind of like the Lump of Coal as an item, so I think I'm going to take the two passives. Reroll Tammy's head, which I definitely do not want to roll with this early in the game. I'd rather hang on to the D6. And, uh... That'll be my course of action. Man, Krampus takes a long time at face damage, though. Come on. Oh, no, no! God damn it. Are you kidding me? The second one hit me? Uh, what the hell. This is ridiculous. How did all of those hit me? That's crazy. I wasn't anywhere near some of those. Oh, well. Oh. So Krampus just managed to like maneuver into a position where the hitboxes on his lasers were looking really strange, but that's okay. Still alive, but I'm pretty pissed off that I lost an entire spirit heart out of that. The red heart, of course, is not a big deal because I can just pick that right back up. I'm pretty sure there's one right in the boss room. God damn. Krampus fight takes forever. Oh my god. Forever with base damage. Come on, Krampus, any time now. Everybody's like questions my my tendency to always trade health for damage at any opportunity. This is why. You're gonna lose so much health if you have low damage. It's ridiculous. Alright. So might be able to get back to full health on this floor, I'm not totally sure. That was an awful Krampus fight. You know what I should be doing is popping into all the item rooms. Because people will get mad at me sometimes when I don't go into an item room that I'm not allowed to pick up just so they can, like, see what I'm missing. But, like, the, in most challenges where I, I have limited keys, that adds a whole stupid extra layer of difficulty for no reason. Because I have to use all my keys on items that I can't have. Yeah, great. Okay, that was a good thing to use my reroll on. Glad I didn't use it in the devil room where I could have potentially gotten, like, Spirit of the Night or something awesome like that. <sighs> Alright. So I can't quite afford the battery right now, but what I can afford is a bomb that I can then use to try to find the secret room on this floor. If I can do that, 
then I might be, might be able to buy the battery. It did not work. I had a one in three shot finding the secret room, and then a, like a probably a seventy to eighty percent chance of finding money in the secret room. But less than that, probably to find the amount of money I would need to get into or to buy the battery. But anyway, it was a risk worth taking, I think. There's a belt in there. Not allowed to have that, of course. Oh, I should have this guy definitely blow this shit up. Why? Did you forget how to shoot Epicac bombs? No? Come on, man. That was so close. Alright, I have access to the chest. Now I just need him to uh, blow open this tinted rock, please. No! Oh my god, I got stuck on... I don't even know. I couldn't... Like, there was a rock, like, right here or something? I, I didn't see it. It was blending in with the floor. Wow, I found the secret room as well. Alright, come on, man. It's right here. This is crazy. You've blown up, like, every single rock. There we go. Too bad those guys can't hurt themselves with their own bombs, because if they could, he would have right there. Anyway, there's a bomb that's good, and also the secret room. There's the money I needed last floor. Good stuff. But hey, maybe there will be something even better in this shop. Gotta stay positive, right? Walking baby sacks, reminding me uncomfortably of my ex-girlfriend. No, that's not a nice thing to say. All of my ex-girlfriends were very nice girls. Move onward, try to get toward the shop. You'll excuse me for not going out of my way to access item rooms in this challenge when I know where they are. But if I walk past them, then I'll pop into them. But no reason to go out of my way, I don't think. Bloody Penny, probably better than Kane's Eye, I would say. Especially, oh, there is an arcade on this floor. I was going to say, if we run across an arcade, there it is. So... If I can get over there, I can almost certainly play the uh, Blood Bank until we get a reward out of it. And I'll save the Joker until such, a, uh, such an occasion so that I can um, have another heart container when I do it, potentially. Because what if there's two really good two heart items and I could still have a heart left over if I save the Joker card? That would be, it would have to be two very good items to justify leaving myself at one heart for him. Uh, I can't get to that chest. I should have given myself flying. I was I was trying to think, like, are there going to be any situations where I cannot uh, access a chest? Well, there you go. I can't get to that locked chest over that pit. Unfortunately. But maybe we'll find the ladder in the shop. That would be bittersweet. It would be like trading 15 cents to get to that one chest in the, the short term. But in the long term, ladder usually pays for itself in some way. Okay, this is bad. I had to come down here to actually be able to shoot these guys. Thank God they were not smart enough to just bum rush me there. Or I could have easily taken some serious greed head damage. Maybe even died. Because those things... You get pushed into a corner by them, you can really easily die there. And there's the bombs or key pill that I was worried about. And the reason that I um, give myself infinite keys instead. Now I got a bunch of bombs, which is pretty nice. Oh. God damn it, green hits. Oh no! I didn't think he was gonna jump quite that far. I thought I could move out of the way afterwards. Because my worry, of course, being that he would decide to shoot instead of jump. I haven't got, been getting a whole lot of items out of locked chests, which is obviously not ideal. Definitely gonna buy the Nun's Habit. There's pretty much no chance of that not happening, because the Nun's Habit is such a good synergy item. If you can get. The nuns have it with any number of other spacebar items. You become very powerful. Basically, any good spacebar item. Like now, if I really, you know, if I want to reroll something and I have a lot of health on the ground, I can leverage the nuns have it into a lot of charges if I find it necessary. Uh, which is great. And uh, D6 is far from the best spacebar item to be using Nuns Habit with. If I can get uh, Nail, Book of Revelations, Crystal Ball, even like Unicorn Horn, Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows, not so much. Book of Shadows and Poison Touch, that would be awesome. Anyway, let's continue moving toward the arcade. Ah, Spider! 
didn't realize I I thought he would have to like run into the rock once before he was able to actually connect with me on that kind of level. I, don't know, I was trying really hard for a second there to make some kind of e-harmony joke about like spiders and emotional connections, but it just I think that's too insane even for me. Just, I I cannot make that reference. You know, I, you know what I should actually do is hang on to the Joker card until after I've fought the boss on this floor so that I can know if I would have gotten a Devil Room anyway. Because um, if I do get a Devil Room, I can just take the Joker card down to the next floor and get a, a Devil Room there as well. If I don't get one, then I can get one anyway. So I think that's the best way to do things. I guess I'm just accustomed to whenever I get the Joker, there's already something else I would rather carry down to the next floor. Um, so yeah, let's play the shit out of this thing. And I should, yeah, be getting a lot of red hearts out of the pennies it spits out to kind of maintain the status quo health-wise. What'd I tell you? Good times. And tons of money as well. Bloody pennies are great trinket if you can just find a blood bank. Really, it almost feels like cheating. Not that I would know anything about cheating in The Binding of Isaac. Cough, cough. Fifty-something parts. Let's play about cheating in The Binding of Isaac. Alright, so there goes all of my red hearts. That's actually shocking. I'm really surprised that it let me get down that far, but... Let's grab this. Now we can play it a little bit more. Already 40 cents. Jesus Christ. Should definitely go back to the shop and buy whatever was left there. Come on, man. Give me one more. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, let's actually play these guys a little bit. Try to get some hearts out of that. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to be a pretty fly. Of course, it was just a normal one. It actually took me two shots to kill that fly. Could really use some damage at this point. I think that's... That was really well illustrated by that fly fight. Come on, give me some health! Yeah! That's right, you give me some health. Perfect. Come on. I've been playing this thing for so long, but, uh, you know, on the other hand, it's not really hurting me to stock up on this much health. It's just, I kind of wish that uh, we could move things along a little bit faster here. Like, instead of making me go through all this build-up to get to however many cents, just give me a row of nickels and then the blood bank. Or the blood bag. I always, always, always make that mistake. They're both... It's two alliterative phrases. Very few syllables. Difference. No syllables difference, in fact. So I was focusing on that fly fight. Epic battles when you have to hit the fly twice. There we go. That's what I needed. That should be good for another several plays. There's a dime. Wow. And there's the IV bag. All right. Well, never going to get that again at the very least. And let's get the hell out of here. Plenty of hearts on the ground, so let's go grab some of those. And also work back toward the shop so that I can buy everything that could be vaguely useful there because I have so much money at this point. When you're at the point when you have 45 cents at any point in the Binding of Isaac, you can generally assume that that's going to be enough money to carry you through the game unless you find a lot of things to spend money on. But especially coming up on the end of the catacombs, you know, there's going to be one more shop in the game because the other one's going to be greed, of course. Yeah, I'll buy some health. So we've got, you know, 38 cents to carry us through one shop worth of goods and then however many judgments I come across and however many gambling apparatuses I feel like playing. So, very unlikely to spend all that money is what I'm saying. Let's get over to the boss. Spent plenty of time on the Catacombs XL here. That uh, <laughs> it, it took me like several times longer than I expected to play that... Uh, blood bank to its conclusion. I really thought that I would play it like at most like six or seven times. That was a lot of times. I I don't remember the last time I've seen a blood bank survive that long. I wonder like if if those gambling apparatuses last so little time, like how how much 
capital is spent just replacing those things after they blow up. You'd think they would invest in some sturdier equipment for that arcade. And on that note, who set up the arcade? Strange stuff. Still no items out of lock chests, which is disappointing to me. I was kind of expecting to get at least one or two. Okay, so Peep's gonna be a big pain in the ass here. Oh, stay in your prison, Peep. I can't have you out in the open like this. Yeah, if I just stay up here, I should be good. This Peep fight in this layout is all about positioning. You can, if you can keep him locked in his his rock prison in the middle, then his uh, his shots when he sprays them out are unlikely to hit you, and you basically just have to worry about the eyeballs. But he's already, he's been out of his rock prison for a while now, but he's still kind of in a good position for him. Ah, oh, god damn it! Just barely got tagged by that one. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, he's totally out of his rock prison now. But he's so close to dead as well. Oh man, just barely snuck by that eye and he is dead. Question, should I re-roll the box? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I like the box. But... Could have a really good trinket in it. Ah, I'm gonna roll it. Got an HP and damage up. Damage up is really important. I don't regret that decision for a minute. Let's get in here and fight the husk. And, uh, if I want to reroll this guy's item, I can just go and complete some more rooms, or if worst comes to worst, intentionally hurt myself. Oh man, I could have been rolling like crazy on something if there was an item on the ground while I was playing that blood bank. Like, I could have rolled so many times. Oh, well, there's my, uh, there's my reroll because I got stuck in the corner. What do we got? Cat of Nine Tails. Okay, definitely want to reroll that, but let's see what's in the angel room first. Miter. Hmm. I'm gonna roll it because there are really good things we can get out of here. Ah, scapular's worse. Miter is a middle of the line angel room item. It was a big risk rerolling it, but could have been Sacred Heart, which would have totally carried the rest of the run, no question. So I'm gonna go and find a couple of rooms to defeat so that I can reroll Cat of Nine Tails, which is really useless. Cat of Nine Tails, one of the worst boss drops in the entire game. So, you know, if anything would have made me take the time to reroll, it would have been that. Sucks about the scapular, but, you know, I've, I've kind of maybe shifted my opinion on the scapular a little bit. Maybe, oh, this is bad. Oh, you know what I can do? Okay, I'm gonna get down to one greed head, and then I'm gonna intentionally get hit by these guys because the thing is they're gonna scatter coins on the ground and then when I pick them back up I'll get health. Oh no I'm, I'm running on spirit hearts though. Oh well there we go. Alright one more room. This one's nice and easy. And now that we're down to the item room I might as well see what's in there even though I'm not allowed to pick it up. But first what's in here? Ooh. I'm going to take the speed up rather than re-rolling that because we still need the re-roll for the boss room. We got some toothpicks in the item room which I'm not allowed to pick up, which hurts a little bit. It's a good tears up. But no big deal. So hopefully we get like a pentagram out of the reroll of the boss room because I could really really use some more damage I did just get the meat but that's not very much damage up and for coming into the depths which is what we're about to do oh come on pageant boy we're gonna go reroll again because pageant boy is just not what I need right now oh I just real I could reroll the IV bag as well oh my god I've got a lot of re-rolling to do. Okay, I should definitely start trading spirit arts for re-rolls re here. It's really too bad. Oh, shit, I just realized. I can use the IV bag. No, I can't. I almost was just really stupid there. I was like, okay, I'm going to use the IV bag. Every time I use the IV bag, it's going to recharge my D6. No, it isn't. It's going to recharge the IV bag, which doesn't even... That's not even a thing that happens. So I do have to take damage in one of these rooms, unfortunately. Okay, I really don't want to get hit on these guys, though. Oh, we can use the fires! Okay, don't... I'm going to spit out this fire, but I'm going to leave the other fire. 
because this is perfect. Now I can reroll an infinite number of times. Well, not an infinite number of times, but you know, as many times as I have health to do it. Which means I am going to leave the IV bag around because I can potentially use the IV bag. No, what am I talking about? I was thinking like I could use the IV bag to maybe produce more health than I lose because of the bloody penny, but I don't know about that. I don't think that's sound logic. Let's reroll Pageant Boy, which is probably the second worst thing I could have gotten. What do you got for me? Squeezy, I'll take that for sure. And I'm going to leave those Spirit Hearts there because I want to use them, you know, right before moving on to the next floor. I want to lose Red Hearts in this infinite reroll clusterfuck that I'm attempting here. And I know I'm spending a long time on the Catacombs XL, but hey, this is one of those runs where I really need to spend time trying to get good items, because with no item rooms, I'm at a severe disadvantage right from the get-go. So I'm walking all the way back to the fire. And then I'm going to hit myself twice. There we go. And then we're going to go reroll the IV bag, hopefully get something decent on the first go here. Because if not, I'm not sure how many times I'm willing to do this walk again. God, this, this sucks that everything's so spread apart. Oh, I can just use these flies. That's perfect. Alright, I don't have to walk all the way back there next time. I could use the spikes as well, but that takes twice as much health. Mr. Mega, not interested. So let's go down to these flies. There we go. Now try another reroll. This is ridiculous. Abel, not interested. <laughs> Come on. Let's give me something that's not terrible, please. Alright, I'm gonna do this down to two more hearts remaining. So this is the second to last reroll. Sacrificial dagger, ah, it's, it's not that good. It's okay. But I would rather reroll one more time. So this is my last try. There we go. Please give me something good. Give me a book of revelation so I can feel justified in all this. Mom's bottle of pills. I don't know about that. Bombs or key pill is obviously totally useless to me. Is there any more like way to get... Ah, I can play these guys, try to get more health to get more rerolls. This is getting absurd. Because every time these guys pay out money, that's as good as paying out health as well. So I should get hearts fairly frequently, given that these guys can also pay out actual hearts. I was getting ready to say, like so, because that guy could have given me hearts there, but it didn't pan out that way. I had a feeling, and my feeling was wrong. What's this? Alright, ate some pills. Give me a heart, good. Alright, one more heart and I can feel comfortable playing the... or rolling the... thing again. I say one more heart, I meant half a heart. What is that? This is something good, right? Yeah, another tears up, that's good. That's a ton more health, so I can try re-rolling two more times. My standards are getting lower and lower for what I'll accept out of this re-roll. Please let me leave this goddamn floor. What do you got for me? Tough love. <laughs> Not one of my favorites at all. One more try. Just one more try. Just let me leave. A tough love is okay, but I don't know, man. It seems like a very slight damage up, because the teeth don't even do that much damage. Unless you have a lot of luck, it's, they're, they're not very good. Quarter, I don't really need a ton of money. I was just talking about that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna play these guys a little bit more. Perfect. Excellent, okay. One more try. I should have just let that fly hit me instead of walking out. So now I have to walk all the way down to these flies. There we go. Oh no, no! God damn it! 
I got stuck on the fly. I couldn't move up. I tried, I swear. Monster Manual, come on. That's like... Super bad. This is one of the worst things that could have just happened there. I should have just taken tough love. Because now I have to keep rerolling, because it's not even a fucking... Um, is is? I'll just take Skatol. That's fine. Oh, that better not stop the fly from hurting me. The one that I'm using outside. I could have rerolled both at once, and I'm starting to think that might have been wise. But at the same time, I've done enough fucking around here. Now I'm running low on money, which is something that I'd never expected. <laughs> Come on, just give me a little bit more health. Or like the dollar would be hilarious. Bombs are key again, excellent. Yeah, just what I needed. Give me... no! Give me health! Give me health! Excellent, alright. One more attempt. This is the silliest thing I've done in the Binding of Isaac in a long time. I should have walked away so long ago. I almost got stuck on the fly there again. That would have been humiliating. What do we got? That's good stuff. If you're if you're not watching this, if you're just listening, I uh, got the skeleton key, which of course, with infinite keys, you just has limited usefulness in this situation. You know what? I'll take a halo of flies. And then I'll take this spirit heart. Then I'll go down to the boss room, take the other spirit hearts, and we'll be ready to go. Oh, almost like reflexively walked into that fly again, which would have been bad. All right, so I've wasted like. 15 minutes probably on this floor, maybe more. Let's get moving already. That was silly. I can't believe how many rerolls I went through. Let's grab these spear hearts. Move onward. Onto the Necropolis Part 1. Lots of free bombs in this room. Ooh, there's a tinted rock down there, but it'll take some serious bombs to access. Let's do like this. Then two bombs this way should get to it. But definitely worthwhile, especially with the number of bombs I have. Yeah, lots of health in there. Of course, I'm still continuing to save my Joker card. Oh, yeah, these guys aren't even going to hurt me. Awesome. I'm continuing to save my Joker card until I'm on a floor where I do not get a boss or a devil or angel room just, like, holistically. Oh. That was a little bit dangerous. Got a bunch of health back, that's good. Let's pop into the shop. Super Greed, that's bad. So we know we're gonna have a shop on the next floor. Definitely want to kill this guy. I considered briefly teleporting out into the devil room. But, the thing with that is that uh, I do actually want to kill Super Greed so that I can be guaranteed or at least have a very good chance of having enough money to buy something on the next floor. God damn it. Greed asshole. There we go. Tons and tons of money. Oh yeah, and I hadn't even considered tons of hearts as well. If I ever need red hearts, that's my place right there. I hope there's another, um, oh my god, <laughs> another arcade on this floor so that I can um, maybe actually get a blood bag this time. But I still do have the bloody penny. Which is, like, basically the use of the Bloody Penny is, uh, arcades. And that's about it. Like, it, it can come in handy in certain, like, strange situations. But the main one is playing the shit out of Blood Banks. Oh, that was close. What do you got for me? More health of all, in all likelihood, as well as money and bombs. Could walk in there and play that. I don't really feel like it. I think we've spent enough time with gambling apparatuses and gambling spacebar items for that matter in this run. 
wonder if I can get this guy to blow up the... Uh, he, he doesn't have predictive aiming at all. He just sort of shoots randomly, so I don't really feel like it. I will re-roll a range up. Three spear arts. It's tempting, but it's also going to ruin the shot. Probably put a... Um, probably put a... Bible in it, which we definitely don't want to buy. So I'm going to try to re-roll that again. Don't really need three spear arts right now either. It'd be okay, but... You know, given that I have, in all likelihood, a whole lot of rerolls coming, I might as well go for something great. Now, I've already wasted a lot of time on rerolls this run, of course. I am aware of this. So there's the boss. Might as well fight the boss so that I know if I'm going to get a devil room on this floor. Or if I should use my joker card so that I can free up my Q slot for something else and maybe buy something awesome from the devil room of course and be able to use it for the remainder of the floor like brimstone would certainly make this floor go a lot more smoothly or mom's knife it's always a favorite war was a pushover as always I say as he gets pushed over by the force of my tears oh come on war <laughs> that was really close he was getting a little bit fast for me there Another angel room, two in a row. Cube of meat will be handy, and of course I can't roll that. What do we got in here? The Bible, fuck you. Oh, come on. <laughs> I, uh, that That is my comeuppance right there for not picking things up and putting them back down. God damn it. The angel room disappeared, which is something that I'm not happy about at all. Ah, uh, that was so dumb. Why did I not pick it up and put it back down? <laughs> oh well. Shit happens. Seriously though, what are the chances? Rolling the Bible into the, another Bible. My guess is pretty low. So, just waiting on another roll here so that I can go re-roll the range up over there. Looks like I won't have to wait long if I keep walking into, into spiders like that. It's the nice thing about Nun's Habit, it turns walking into enemies as an, into a, an arguably positive thing. Another chest I can't access, really should have given myself flying on this run. It's already kind of underpowered, so I don't think that would have messed with the balance any. And it would have sort of kept with the spirit of the run. Harlequin Baby, uh, not one of my favorites. Because the thing with Harlequin Baby is it has the same weakness as a greed head or a sexual organ fly in that it will always miss something standing still, which a lot of enemies do, so I don't know. And it doesn't do a whole ton of damage, all things considered. So I'm going to try to roll it again. I also want to find the item room so that I can show off whatever I'm missing there. Well, there it is running out of excuses for staying on this floor and I do not want to do another like crazy item rerolling marathon if I can avoid it I'd rather just take whatever the item room offers me or whatever the reroll offers me this next time leave it at that missing out on polyphemus in the item room that sucks really could have used that right now so now we know this run would have been a nearly guaranteed success had I not imposed a no item room rule Hope all of you sadists are happy, the ones who kept on wanting to see what I was missing in item rooms. There you go. You're never going to see a better one than that in all likelihood. Um, oh, I have a reroll. Okay, let's go use it. And I'm just going to limit myself, myself. If this is not an item I want, too bad. I'm taking it or leaving it if it's a terrible spacebar item. We're going on to the next floor. I can't afford to waste this much time. What do you got for me? <laughs> I deserve that one for sure. Let's move onward. Uh, I am going to try to bomb my way into the secret room. Because I have a ton of bombs. And if there's a fire in the secret room, I will harm myself on it. Until I can reroll one more time. Because I really don't want to leave it at the bean. And I can afford a spirit heart to roll it into at least a passive. Oh, there is a fire, uh, so I'm going to take the one up, because that could save my life someday. I'm going to re-roll the 
bean one last time. But I'm not going to waste any bombs to go back in there and access that fire. So I've wasted a spear art for this reroll. It better be good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Distant admiration. I'd definitely trade a spirit art for that if it was sitting in the devil room or something. Not that the, not that the devil does deals in sp one spirit heart, but, you know, it's a hypothetical. If I just walked in and it was there, I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'll take that. So having some pretty crazy luck with getting uh, devil slash angel rooms on floors. I haven't had occasion to use this joker card yet, but it will probably happen this floor, I'm guessing. I've already been hit a substantial amount, which is not good. Maybe not substantial, but I think I got hit twice in that room, maybe? I don't know, and I think it's supposed to work... Oh my god. <laughs> it's supposed to work on a quantitative... That's not what I mean to say at all. It's it's a straight up, like, hit or not. It's not a... Doesn't matter how many times you get hit after the first hit. So I've already lost a percentage bonus for not getting hit on this floor. Which is not terribly surprising, but we could still get the not getting hit on the boss <clears throat> chance. Why am I using a bomb to get a bomb here? I don't know. This tempting fate for, to have the troll engine just decide that bomb didn't exist, as happens sometimes. The rock would just still be there and I'd be very sad. So, taking some dumb damage lately, but... Still doing okay, and I'm fairly powerful considering the circumstances. What do we got here? Bad gas as well as I found pills. Yeah, that was certainly worth it. It was like the worst, uh, the worst uh, curse room that isn't definitely bad. Got my hopes up a little bit, you know. I saw those pills on the ground, and I was like, "Hey, those could be great," and they weren't. So now I'm even sadder than if I had just walked in, found spiders, and walked back out. Because there was that expectation for a second. I was like, I know there's a tears up pill in the rotation. Could one of those be it? Because I have the memory of something with a poor memory. I can't remember what animals might have poor memories or else I would make a more cohesive reference there. But, you know, therein is the problem. Goldfish have poor memories. Or so I'm told. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. I'm taking a lot of damage on the Necropolis, and I honestly can't tell how much of it is my fault. Because I am running into some crazy situ- Okay, that was just- I, like, bounced off of a rock. Come on. Should be able to take this guy out. Oh, come on. How did only one of those shots hit? Oh, come on. No, no, no. You were supposed to be stuck. Okay, I've, ta I've taken an unbelievable amount of damage in, uh, unforeseen circumstances in this run, basically. Why is this guy not getting stuck charging in a line? That's my question. Usually if you shoot them once, then they'll just run across the entire room in that trajectory without changing. And that guy was breaking all the rules. Alright, we got the map. I'm going to take that. Useful. Got a tears up pill. I'm going to take that as well. Got a spear art. As well as a bomb. If you're wondering why I'm buying all of that shit because I'm very unlikely to need it in the future, or need money in the future. Especially since there's an arcade right here, and we are going to do the classic bloody penny trick. Just play the crap out of that thing. There we go. Health up. Out of the blood bank, finally, as well as a speed up. Good stuff. We know where the secret room is, thanks to the map. Tons of money I don't need, yeah. Bunch of red hearts, just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Was I waiting on anything else? I don't think so. I think we're ready to get going here. Fight mom. Oh, you know what? This is that floor uh, where we fight mom. Which means that unless I find a telepills or something, there's no way I'm going to possibly get into the devil room without my handy dandy joker card. So I am still actually going to hold off just in case I do in fact get uh, like a anything that would allow me to teleport back out of mom's room because that gives you a chance when you walk back in of finding a room we got little Chad I'm not too concerned about missing out on that 
See, I'm being a little bit obsessive with this Joker card, more than I usually am. I think it's finally starting to really get to me in, in a way that affects my play, that every single time I publish a video, I know that every single, like, minute strategy decision I make is going to be, like, agonized over by hundreds of commenters, so... You know, I try, I, I'm try. i trying my best to make s the smartest decisions possible here so that, you know, in the off chance that I'll be able to prevent everybody from being like, oh my god, you could have bombed your way through X to get to Y, you big Z. Which is obviously something I like to avoid because it means that I spend less nights drinking myself to sleep and crying. You think I'm kidding, but no, I'm just kidding. I really am kidding. Like, I'm not kidding about not kidding. Never mind. I'm just going to fight Mom because I forgot kind of my train of thought there. It disappeared. Red Mom should not be too difficult. It's really interesting. That one run I did where I had to, I spent so long fighting Mom because I was invulnerable, but like it was impossible for me to fight. Um, that the that time like gave me a lot of weird insights into mo the Mom fight that I hadn't had before. For example... You, did you know that Red Mom has much more health than a normal mom? And Blue Mom actually has substantially less health? The more you know. That, that really surprised me, but after fighting like like a sample size of hundreds of mom fights probably in that one video, uh, maybe not hundreds, but at least around a hundred, um, you know, it was very clear like my Epicag did a lot more damage to a Blue Mom than a Red Mom. We're going to grab the Polaroid, uh, because I need to, we're going to, yeah, I'm just going to take the dog food, I don't think that's worth a roll. We're going to pop into the Devil Room, or Angel Room, as the case may be. We got another Miter, have I learned my lesson? No. <laughs> the game really wants me to have the Miter. <laughs> that was hilarious. Alright, here's here's a, an example of a... A counterpoint to something somebody told me once. Uh, this is the spawn room because we know that because that's where it sent me after I got back out of the angel room. Uh, people have told me, or one person told me anyway, and I was pretty sure this wasn't true, but not sure enough to like argue with him. He told me the boss room is always the farthest room from your spawn. Uh, there's an example right there of a case where that is not the case. Like I was, I was really clearly. Like, very close. That was, like, the closest ter uh, terminus that there was. Drinking some tea as we experience the pink glitch. There we go. Go straight into the uh, secret room. <laughs> Leave immediately because it's greed. We got a library. We find Book of Revelations in there. We could be looking at a long but successful video. I mean, we're already looking at a long video, but a, an exceptionally long video. <laughs> Man, yeah, this has been a long run and completely due to me having like 50 times the OCD I usually have. <laughs> but hopefully, not to be too many people mind that, because if people start complaining about like, Oh my god, you're taking so long doing everything, please don't start freezing up, computer. I really would not appreciate that, thank you. Um, but yeah, I, would, I might just... Oh no, this is not good at all. Why is it doing that? It would be really funny if one of my uh, computer components like burned out right now because I'm recording this on the day before my new computer stuff arrives. Yeah, two books of Belial. I'll rock that. Now we're obviously going to come back and attempt to reroll those. Yeah, I'm uh, lagging like crazy. What exactly is going on? I don't know. Let me, I'm actually going to pause the video for a second and examine, make sure there's nothing going on on my computer. And I'm back, so there's no discernible reason for this, except that, um... Sorry, as I try to kill this guy. Except that Steam claims to be working on something and also have no connection. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's the source of the problem. I do still appear to have an internet connection because, like, Skype is still logged in. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is very odd. I don't like this room. But I'll deal with it. I love how it tries to trick you. It's like, here's a way you can walk your doppelganger onto the spikes. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Because, of course, 
this guy can fly, so he's immune to such trickery. But he's not immune to attack flies by any stretch of the imagination. Come on, man. There we go. What do we got here? Is this? Oh, I thought that was a new pill, but it's the Tears Down pill I got once. But uh, Balls of Steel is not new, but certainly an improvement. I am... Oh, God. This lag is going to ruin this run, and I'm really upset about that. I wonder what the hell is going on with my computer. Uh, I'm not going to fight a mob trap room for a lock chest. Even though that's kind of the point of the run is opening lock chests, but... As I've spent a long time on this video so far, and it doesn't look like we're going to get out anytime soon. Oh, I do have... Uh, D6 charge, so I should definitely reroll the books of Belial. Perfect. Yes. None have it. Alright, so now I'm basically guaranteed to um, win, but how long it's going to take is uh, another question entirely. And I'm really concerned about this lingering lag that's going on. I opened my task manager, looked at my processes and like what's taking up a lot of CPU. Nothing is really. Uh, Isaac is taking up like 10% and my recording software is taking up another few, but it's not really... Nothing's... Uh, Nothing is a pressing concern right now, which is in and of itself a pressing concern. That was really annoying. I got like catapulted off of the edge of the door there that sometimes exists and sometimes doesn't. So when I tried to move forward, I like slipped way forward. Okay, so got through that room okay, but did take you know more damage than I recovered from Book of Revelations, which is not a trend I can afford to keep up for obvious reasons. Because really, like, Book of Revelations Nun's Habit is really good, but at this point, it's- oh my fucking god. At this point, it's only similar to having the wafer unless you manage to actually charge three charges in a row occasionally. Uh, we got two of hearts, which is actually a huge deal. That could really bring me back from the brink if I'm having trouble- oh my- God. Okay, so I, yeah, I'm losing substantial health here because I'm getting hit on apparently every single room. I'm not sure exactly what the deal with that is. Wow, that was a stupid <laughs> hit to take. This is incredibly frustrating. Like, as soon as I got Book of Revelations, I apparently also forgot how to play The Binding of Isaac. I'm just going to blame it all on the computer problems. That's what a mature adult would do, I think. Awesome, actually guessed the correct way for the boss room for once. The unfortunate thing is I'm going to have to fight the boss with one charge left on the Book of Revelations, assuming I don't take more damage in this very room, uh, which means that to gain any health, oh well that will do it too, but to gain any health from Book of Revelations I'll actually have to uh, not get hit on this boss fight. Hey, there's some more lag, that's always a good sign. Yep, there's some more. Seriously, I've never once had problems with lag playing The Binding of Isaac. I have no idea what is going on with my computer. I think I need to restart Steam, but that's a problem for me because obviously to restart Steam I would have to actually stop playing The Binding of Isaac, which would, uh, it's kind of a, uh, not an option right now given that I'm in the middle of a 54 minute recording. <laughs> okay, horse I could really do with some help. Hey, at least he took out the hard one. I got the other one just fine. Uh, perfect, yes. Continue killing zombies. Horse is dead, which is actually great. Then, gonna continue worrying about my game completely crashing. Got another angel room, that is unbelievable. I've gotten so many angel rooms this run. Sacred Heart, almost as good. Dead Dove, really good item. Will allow me to fly and have spectral tears. The game can just stop from crashing until I can get through the chest then I'll I have a good chance here I feel but unfortunately it's probably also gonna take another like too long to <laughs> actually beat the chest this is the, the longest episode of all time this this is why like if people are wondering like why do you not waste time doing small improvements in your gameplay this right here this is exactly why it makes like way too long recording of course it gives me the noose right after it gives me the dead dove whatever I'll take it now I'm flying twice. It's fine with me. <laughs> we found another arcade, but I unfortunately I don't have the uh, bloody penny anymore, which makes that less of an option. Actually, uh, Nuns Habit Book of Revelations makes it an option in a different way. Now I can turn my red hearts into spirit hearts, which is actually a pretty big deal. 
I could use the uh, um, two of hearts for this purpose, but I don't really think that's a good idea. Cause oh god, please. Oh, now I can play it because I have the Polaroid effect? Oh man, that's good. Just give me the blood bag! Wait, you're not gonna- oh, it did- it did give me the Polaroid effect. Okay, I can cheese the hell out of this with the Polaroid effect. Give me the blood bag! Are you kidding me? There it is, alright. That gave me a lot of hearts, but not full health. Because the blood bag actually just gives you like five hearts as well as a full heart container. So it, it gives you six red hearts and one heart container, in other words. There's another HP up for me. Doing pretty well. Let's check up here for the boss. No such luck, unfortunately. Get on the spikes so the other guy gets on the spikes, but he can't fly. And let's move onward. So I should have quite a few spirit hearts, to say the least, after uh, cheesing the blood bank like that. Which should make the rest of the game pretty trivial. But of course, technical issues are going to kind of balance that out a little bit. Got tons of money. If I want to, if the game wants to give me like four judgments in a row, I'd have no problem with that. Honestly, I could probably take a few more. You never have enough judgment. Always room for judgment. Not dick judgment, though. <clears throat> Man, it's been a long time since I've recorded for so long straight that my voice starts giving out. And I'm still kind of, sort of, a little bit getting over a cold that I've had kind of, sort of, a little bit since fall started, basically. What do you got for me? Damage up? Like that? Hello, Steven. Welcome to the party. Oh no, <laughs> that was dumb as hell. So if I can keep half a heart, uh, like not, you keep a multiple of half a heart, if that makes any sense. Like have half a heart at the end of my thing, then I'll also have the Polaroid effect when I actually run out of hearts. But that could be difficult to maintain. Please, boss, oh come on. Alright, I'm going to check very carefully because people have been super angry at me the last few times. I've, like, not really concentrated enough to realize that I could bomb my way into the boss trap room. It's just not something I'm normally thinking about. I'm, you know, thinking about other things like what to talk about. It's not like I'm not aware. If, if people keep on talking to me like, like I'm a Binding of Isaac noob who doesn't realize you can bomb your way back out of the secret room. Yes, thank you, I figured that out within my first few hours of gameplay, but, you know, it's good to know. But uh, anyway, no, there's no way to get into that boss trap room unless I want to sacrifice all of my health, which unfortunately is something I actually did earlier, but uh, I didn't know that was going to exist, so I couldn't take advantage of it. I'm going to use some bombs for sure to speed this up. Not doing as much damage as I would hope or expect at this point. I've gotten a fair few damage ups, but uh, apparently they're not enough. Man, this lag is freaking me out. I'm, I'm seriously concerned. I really want this run to be over just so that I can investigate that further. Because this is not something my computer has ever done to me before and I'm worried that there's a serious problem. The re recording at least seems to still be going. I've had problems before where the recording just gives out and stops playing, which is always the worst. Did that? It's only done that once to me, but that was during a head-to-head -head and we were almost done when I realized it. That was maddening. It recorded like the first frame and then just stopped recording, but acted like it was still recording. I really, Camtasia is not a fantastic program. I, I don't have any qualms about saying that. It's It fills the role of, like, it lets you record anything rather than just uh, DirectX or GPL applications like Fraps or DXStory can do. But the trade-off is huge. It's so unstable and so finicky. That's why I'm not doing uh, XCOM for a while, because I want to uh, be able to record it with DX Story so that it will uh, stop being terrible. But hopefully tomorrow I will actually sort that out. Ah, that was 
I don't know what I was even thinking there. I was attacking the zombies, not realizing that the heart was actually still there and attacking me. Oh, don't get hit. Okay. Heart should be nearly dead at this point. Oh, come on. Perfect. Another spirit heart. Move on to the cathedral. No, try not to lag into the door to shoal, if at all possible. Let's pop in here. Wow, that is super lucky. Another example of the boss room being not at all the furthest terminus from the uh, spawn room. Get all this sweet money. Not even sure why I'm bothering picking it up at this point. Let's fight Isaac. Thank God it gave me the boss room quickly. This is gonna take forever. Look at the damage I'm doing. <laughs> this is this is one of those runs where it's like you can pretty easily beast through all of the floors and all the enemies, and then you get to Isaac and it's like, oh, your damage is based on a high rate of fire, and you're not even doing that much damage. Well, got bad news for you. You're gonna spend a long time on the Isaac fight. Actually, this is not going so bad. It's not going terrible. It's not going great, but. You know, the, uh, Nuns Habit Book of Revelations, I think, will pick up the slack here. I'll probably be able to beat Blue Baby, depending on the t uh, type of chest we get. Hopefully not anything too brutal. Isaac should be dead at any moment. Well, not at any moment. He's still got a whole phase left, but shouldn't take too long. Thank god I don't really have to worry about dodging too much because of my bullet blockers and insane health regeneration ability because this lag is making it nearly impossible to actually dodge some shots. Because the thing is like when the game freezes up like that I'm pretty sure it actually like continues it like thinks I'm holding down whatever button I'm holding down so I'll continue moving in a direction and not be able to do fine dodging for the moment but it's kinda hard to tell. I'm still feeling out exactly what type of lag I'm experiencing here. Alright, so that was fairly easy. Simply because of Nun's Habit Book of Revelations, of course. Let's move on to the chest. What do we got in all of these? Bunch of worthless bullshit. Okay. Uh, I could play the portable slot for a million years and get a bunch of useful stuff out of that, but I don't really feel like it. I think I'll hang on to the Book of Revelations. Let's see what's in the secret room. Three cents, alright. Thank you a lot. No boss this way, unfortunately. No bombing out of rooms allowed in the chest. Which is a really smart game design decision, but also a really annoying one. Because of course it makes the chest much, much, much more challenging not to be able to just skip rooms. But, I would really like to be able to skip rooms. <laughs> just so many bomb flies! I, I'm not sure I've ever seen that many bomb flies at once before. Alright, where should I try now? Uh, let's just go top left, I guess. Oh, bloat! Don't be an asshole, bloat. Just bloats. I'm not even sure why I bothered giving that instruction, because that is all bloat knows. Bloat is a huge asshole. That is his life's work. Oh, god damn it. Walked directly into the eye. I don't even know what I was doing there. Should really remember that I don't actually have to watch out for his creep, which is probably what actually got me hit there. Lemon mishap, yeah, good good chest item so far, yeah. Fun stuff. Move on here, no boss up this way either, unfortunately. I think next we'll head bottom left because uh, that has by far the most terminuses, so more chances for the boss to be down that way. But it will really suck if the boss is not that way really you don't want to have to explore the entire chest it's just the basic rule of life please die chub come on you've been at zero health for like a million hits another key that's super useful that sarcasm in case you couldn't tell oh this sucks <laughs> it takes me a long time to shoot the fire poop not as long as I expected it to though in all fairness but I thought I was going to be in that room for a long time, just trying to get my spectral tears to cooperate with me. Oh, oh, oh. Thank God for Skatol in this room. I'm not sure if that's how it's actually pronounced. I don't know what it means or what it is. I should look that up. 
But yeah, thank god for it, because all these flies are innocuous and otherwise would have been a huge pain. Okay, we gotta watch out for these things. Great. Boss is not this way, that sucks so much. <laughs> now we have to fight two Gertie Juniors just to seek penance for my error. This is bad. But, you know, with Book of Revelation Sun Sabbath, I think I am going to be able to make it through this, even if I do have to fight to the very last corner of the chest, which is looking increasingly likely. At this point, I think we have like a 50% chance of that being the case. Oh, tch, fucking idiot. Forgot the poop was in that room entirely and walked straight into it. That's something I do all the time. It's probably one of the stupidest habits I have in Isaac. It's like, yeah, continue charging forward into a room. Doesn't matter what's in there. I don't care. Fiery poop that's going to hurt me immediately. I don't... That's fine. Bring it on. I have poop on my head. Doesn't hurt that bad. Ah, man. <laughs> it's taking a long time. Please die, super sloths. Thank you. Lag seems to have su subsided. That's a good sign. Of course, as soon as I say that, it's probably going to act up again. Odd mushroom for a little bit more damage. Yes, please. That's going to speed things up a little bit. The tower, that's super useful. I think I'll hang on to the two of hearts, though, just in case I run through all my spear hearts. But if that happens, something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. Another double Gertie Jr. room is pretty annoying, because again, this is going to take forever. No, <laughs> Gertie Jr. There we go. One more. Okay. Please, boss room. God damn it, I knew it. I knew it was going to be the very last place I could have possibly gone. Three Lokis is, again, going to take way longer than it has any right to. I'm actually surprised, though, all things considered, that this run actually turned out. You know, when I started the challenge, I was thinking this is going to be a much more difficult challenge than average. Uh, but, hey, it's actually going to make it to the chest, so what do I know about game design? Almost nothing. Did not need me to tell you that, though, I'm sure. Oh no! Die, Loki, die! Come on! Jesus Christ! How much health is hidden beyond the end of his health bar? This is, this is an unbelievable glitch. I wonder if they'll fix that in uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. By the way, if you guys haven't heard about Binding of Isaac Rebirth yet, I definitely recommend going to Edmund McMillan's blog. You can Google that, and he will. Um, he has like a, a Q&A about the the port and all the facts about it. It's very interesting. I'm looking forward to it a lot. Odd Mushroom for uh, double tiers rate and uh, lower damage. If I had seen that item before picking it up, I actually like ended up inside it after I opened the chest. Uh, if I had seen it before I picked it up, I probably would not have taken it to be honest because my tiers rate was already very high and now I'm just doing less damage. So that's very disappointing and it's going to make the blue baby fight take forever. On the bright side, we're, we actually made it to blue baby. Finally, took a very long time because I had to fight the entire chest to do it. But here we are at the boss. Let's do it. Blue baby, I don't foresee having a lot of chance here. I'm just going to stand here actually and kill him this way. Unless I, if I run out of spirit hearts, then I'll start trying. I can't believe that I haven't made it yet. <laughs> Fighting of Isaac takes a lot of skill, ladies and gentlemen. Not anybody can do this. <laughs> I seriously can't believe how long I went with my bullet blockers being effective against all of these tiers. That was crazy. But yeah, I do believe that this is going to complete the fight with no effort on my own part, except hitting the space bar occasionally and holding down the right arrow key. Might get a little bit more crazy now that the fetuses exist now that I think about it, but I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm never gonna quit. Try, oh god, they pushed me out of the way so I actually had to move back physically. Yeah, this is not working because all the fetuses are actually pushing me into a position where I can't fight, or I can't hit Blue Baby, so I did have to move to the other side of the room. That's the kind of skill it takes to win at the Binding of Isaac. Thank you guys for watching another challenge run. That was fun. If you have an idea for your own challenge run, leave it in the comments, and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. I'll see you guys next time.